Hey friends, welcome to another beautiful pour. Um, so I'm loving this one. It's uh, probably my uh, submission for the Massey Art Studio uh, challenge to do a pour uh, with just three colors, white, gold, and black. Um, yeah, so super excited about it. Um, and so um, this one, I'm basically doing, um, redoing uh, what was it called? What did I call it? Um, Tickle Me Gold, which is, uh, I just use black and gold, but for this one, I'm going to use, on one side, I'm going to use um, white, and on the other side, I'm going to use gold. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's not, you know, completely half and half, um, <laughs> but it's close enough, so it's fine, right? Um, and so the idea is to have... Um, one side gold, one side white, and then use a traveling ring pour to create like a feathery effect in the middle. And this one, I'm, I'm going to fight for having um, symmetry um, because the other one that I did, I had more gold uh, negative space, which most of the time is great. Um, but um, it, it looked a little off, you know, offsided. So or lopsided so I'm going to try this time to keep the same amount of negative space or it doesn't have to be exactly the same but close enough so that it doesn't bother the eye when you're looking at the piece so so here we go um so here I am basically just using 24 karat gold um satin enamel a little bit of satin enamel uh, white in pure white with, obviously, um, titanium white of Liquitec Basics. And then the black is Mars Black by Liquitec Basics as well. And so I'm just alternating uh, between black, gold, white, black, gold, white. And, um, yeah, so uh, something that I learned or something that I'll do differently next time is I... I I will not use as much because I think that's my hardest. That that was what gave me the most difficulty. So here we go. Here's the the ring pour, and um, like I said, um, is there's just too much paint here. Um, but still, the overall what I wanted to get out of it, I did. Um, by running this um, uh, stirring stick through the middle, it gives me a feathery effect, which I love. And um, yeah, but I just wish instead of using like the bigger cups, I should have used a tiny cup. I still would have gotten the same feather effect. But um, you see how like it got super lopsided right away. And that's sort of what happened the, the first time too. And but the difference here is that um the first time I just left it that way, and here I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna figure out a way to get the same amount of negative space on both sides. Um, so here I'm just gonna tilt off as much of the excess paint as possible, and then figure out how to go about uh, gaining some symmetry between both sides. And um, so I did speed up, obviously, this um, video. <laughs> See what happened to my negative space on the on that side? It's all gone, all gone. Uh, but so I'm, I'm a little scared. I've watched, um, I think her name is Kristen, uh, Cost Creation. Um, gosh, her name escapes me, but um, she's not afraid at all of putting negative space after the fact. So I'm going to try it, see how it goes. Um, now I'm learning as I put uh, this extra white to give me negative space, I see that I get trails and I would be fine. I would be fine with trails because I don't want it to be just like, you know, like once I have like an organic line, super like wavy and then the others I have like, um, like, um, you know, those pointy um, pieces on the gold side. So I'm almost super happy that um, as I put white, then I get these these lines here too. So, um, so it doesn't look like it's completely different from the other side. So, yeah. 
So I'll just need to continue to um, put some of this extra white. And then eventually, as I tilt, um, then I'll end up with pretty much a symmetrical piece. Um, and I'm not looking for, for like, like super hard defined symmetry. I just want an overall look of symmetry. So, yeah. And I, I'm loving this because it kind of, um, there's a fish and I'm, I'm going to try to, uh, find it. Uh, what is it called? Let me, let me look for that. So the fish is called a lionfish and it's super beautiful and it kind of, you know, the pour kind of reminds me of, of that. Um, I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, maybe add a little bit more of white. No, I like it. I mean, it's not exactly um, the same amount of um, negative space, but there's enough white negative space to um, to make it look a, a somewhat symmetrical. Now I'm just getting my edges and then I'll spend one more time just to blend um, the paint that I just added and then call it done. It's so gorgeous. I love it. So I'm going to use this time of um, my last spin to plug Yushi Ta, who's an artist. Um, his handle is My Hands Gallery and on Instagram. Check him out. He's amazing. All right. So this is the close-up of this um, three-color uh, piece. Uh, so I'm going to call it Cabaret because of the feathery uh, look of the piece. So, um, tree luxurious um, because it has lots of gold. Very classy. All right, let me see if I can take you in even closer. Okay, so as you could see, I had a problem keeping my white negative space on the piece itself. So I had to continuously pour more white, more white on there to keep the white, but the painting was rejecting it. So I'm hoping it still dries pretty nicely. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can take you in even closer with that putting the camera inside the canvas. So I want to just show you the blending, but it's kind of hard to capture that. So hopefully when it dries, I can show you how, how beautiful it is. So, so this is less dramatic, a little softer than the pre calling this one cabaret and I'm calling it cabaret because it started off with like a feather in the middle diagonally and then it morphs into like a sea urchin kind of a situation here. So I figure that's kind of like a cabaret. Sweet, sometimes sour, sometimes funny, sometimes hilarious. Um, so yes, what do you think? I love it. Let me see if I can bring you in closer. So this one has um, the rose gold and deco not yeah the deco r24 care gold combination here so pretty and then um obviously it's all over as well throughout and then up here like i had the hardest time um keeping uh white negative space so i'm super proud about this one and uh yeah forgive the sound of the wind blowing outside. It is blowing today. Well, this whole past week has been 
YouTube were like windy, dirty in our teeth kind of a situation. <laughs> but I'm still pouring because it's awesome to do art. Okay, so what do you think? I really do think this one's fantastic. And the piece itself is agreeing with me. Okay, so um, thank you so much for watching to the end. Like I mentioned before, I really truly appreciate you watching the, the videos also. Um, appreciate you give me feedback um, and if you offer suggestions on how I can do better I usually will take you up on it um, unless there's something I can't physically do but thank you so much see you at the next time